my intention of uh, vying for this seat, I used to be a boxer. And I've seen boxing not doing so well in Kenya nowadays, in terms of leadership. Now we've come in as a team to change the face of boxing in Kenya. First of all, we want to, need to take boxing to Mashinani. We equip the boxers, because they don't, they don't have equipment. Another thing we want to do inter-clubs and inter-counties. Inter want to bring boxing to the classes, schools and uh, colleges. You know why? For instance now, if, if, if you tell your child to go play a sport like boxing, you will not, you'll not allow that, because it's not, it's not doing so well in Kenya, like football. So we want to bring the glory of boxing back to where it was. Because in Kenya there are so many good boxers. We have seen around, we've worked each and every county that has boxing in Kenya. I can see my, the, the outgoing President Kameta, he's saying there are no boxing. The, the, the intermediate, the winner was from Busia, Viga. We have so many brilliant boxers who, who can do better than these boxers who are here. We need to, to bring back the glory. We, bring, we need to bring back the confidence to the Kenyans so that there is boxing in Kenya. And after that, they will chip in. Like you see counties, we can talk to the governors and the, for each and every county or sports director of the counties and we can organize a match. Like, for instance, we had, we had uh, intermediate, novices and Kenya Open. And we, had, we, just, we have just finished the league. And the, the games were perfect. You can see the edge of the boxer want to box. But the problem was the leadership. Like you see Viga, they are, the, the county is the one who finds the boxers to where we are going to, 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 to box. So that is the indication that there is goodwill in boxing. What I want to do, I want people to give me this chance to take the boxing to another level. Like you see, Kamet has never been a boxer, so he doesn't know about boxing. Maybe he knows about boxing because he's been the president of boxing for the last, I don't know, forever. The, the only solution is we go to the election, we elect the leader, who will take the boxing to another level. I've been approached with so many companies to sponsor boxing, but they can't sponsor boxing without doing an election. Let me tell you, Maxwell, let's do the election, and then after there, you'll see where boxing is going to go. I can promise you, and I guarantee, we are going far with boxing in Kenya, under my leadership. A boxer to become a professional, he has to be a amateur boxer. Yes. True. We need to first start with these coaches, judges and coaches and referee. They go for these courses, refresher courses. After that, for now, for instance, let me tell you why we have the disconnect. The outgoing president doesn't cope with the professional, professional boxers. You know why? He's a one-man show. He wants to do the things. Like you see, for instance, we had a league, we had a calendar for the league. He hoped to change the calendar to take the boxing to Mwingi. Is there boxing in Mwingi? And for, for information, Mwingi is his hometown. Let me tell you one thing. The only glory that will come back to boxing is after the office is gone. And we put up a new office and we go forward. The executive are written to IBC. We want the IBC to conduct the election. Because IBC, you know, is, is, is a superior body of the board elections. Uh, we've, we've talked to NOC, we've talked to all the agencies. And there, I think, I think so, so far, the election is on. There's nothing to dispute the election. Why should you? If, if, if now, if Kameta know, knows that he, he will, will win the elections, why, why dispute them? I can't even talk about him. Because you'll see, if you stand on a national television and say you're not vying, and then after two weeks you're saying you're vying, because there are some people who were banned and they were, they were called back. How is it? How were they banned? You can't wake up and ban people from the federation. That's an ad of. You see this guy, he wants to run a boxing like his own house. It can't work like that. And I saw him on the television saying that there was a boxer at Chattawal that was injured. And the mother complained and the mother, we were the one who catered for that bill of that boxer. And for mention, the boxer is good. He's now out of the hospital. How can you say that we went and just pick up a boxer and told him to box? That's ridiculous. You can't do that. There's a doctor. You have, the boxer will box in a intermediate. In novices, he was there. So if you, if you come and say that Kenya Open, we just pick a boxer, that's unfair. And the other thing is saying that we, do, we don't have qualified judges and referees. That's an ad of.
for a very long time we've had uh, in the sport of boxing mm. we lack role models you find uh, there's been this stereotype where people think uh, boxing is for low class yes. citizens whereby we don't have people who have boxed and who are doing so well in life so there's that uh, stereotype where you know people who are like they're not very sharp very smart upstairs are the one who take boxing but that is not necessarily true so we need to change that by people who are participating in boxing like for example personally i'm a graduate and uh, when i was schooling i was i think i was the only one at that time who was at the university uh, all my other colleagues were getting employment when they were very young and they were getting those jobs through talent yes. and uh, which is right which is right but now the disconnect comes in in that uh, since this most of our boxers uh, did not get uh, did not go very far in education when it comes to employment especially when we in the country started doing what you call the structural adjustment programs the boxers who had been employed using talent only were the first people now to be retrenched by different state corporations because now the state corporations were downsizing and the requirement now they wanted to see the papers people had so that to sustain them in their uh, in the jobs so you find that most of the boxers at that time went out uh, from their jobs we need now to nurture young talent especially what Jamal is saying taking boxing to the schools so that we urge the young boxers to combine education and sports that way when they come up they are able to make good decisions when you are participating in boxing bouts especially like the ones who are now in professional you are able to earn your income and you invest you also think of life after boxing and that is what has been lacking people don't prepare for life after boxing you only live for today and when you are, you know you are a star everybody supports you but when hard times comes you're on your own and we have seen example of that with so many examples and the prime one will be probably like Congestina Cheng, who has been in media this week, uh, Suleiman Bilali a while ago. The examples are so many. There are so many of the former boxers whom you meet with them, you feel like running away from them. We need to help them. Being the chairman of boxing, doesn't make me become, if I want to buy, I just buy to become a, I don't, me, I'm not into politics, that politics of, of being an MP or a senator or all that. But me, what I want to do is to change boxing, not being elected to do, to look for cash or to do, all that. no. If I was, if, 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 if I was buying, I could have buy a Makadala seat long time ago. You can even ask the sitting MP now, Aladwa, or the former, Ben Kengara. Yes, those, they are my friends. I don't have any intention for boxing, for buying for any political city. And if I, if I lose, genuinely, I'll still support boxing. We need to up our game. Like uh, Jamal is trying to say, boxing is the second, second to athletics when it comes to bringing medals at the Olympic level in this country. But uh, because of mismanagement, boxing has gone down. You're almost forgotten. Rugby is coming up and other sports like volleyball. So I think uh, it's high time we in go back and invest in our youths. We need to do a lot of capacity building in terms of coaching so that uh, the coaches, when he's talking about boxing machinani, we need to have right people nurturing that talent at there machinani level so that when they come up they have the right basics and uh, that way we'll be able to have boxers who when they become of age they are able to go and uh, participate at international level and win medals at the moment we have a uh, few coaches at machinani level but uh, even them maybe they are not trained they don't have any star you know nowadays uh, iba has introduced a new system where you have star one two three and uh, actually in the country we only have about six three star and uh, those three star they are mainly with the big teams kdf 
police and prison. So you find where we have most boxers, which is Mashinani. So we need to do capacity building. We ensure that we have at least even one staff coach in every county who can help us to tap that talent. A ruling was made and uh, what was said, what the tribunal ruled was because the mandate of BAK expired on uh, 25th May 2017 and we are in 2019. So the decisions that were taken to ban those officials which is uh, Mbote, Munuhe and uh, Matito. Those decisions were taken after the expiry of the term and what the tribunal said was uh, the, the decisions taken after the expiry of the term were considered to be null and void. It's a nullity in law. So it's as good as it didn't happen. And that's why uh, those officials have never stopped working uh, with their duties. As uh, Matito has always uh, like the league and all the tournament, he's been on has been the supervisor, the technical delegate. You've seen change. We've done intermediate, we've done novices. Novices in the first time, novices were done on, on, on Chatao. So, there's a, there's a big change that's coming. That's what people are afraid of. What I want to urge my boxers and uh, the delegates, it's we go for the elections. If they choose me to leave this camp, to leave this, this federation, I'll do it. And if they don't, but let's do the election and change the face of boxing in Kenya.